Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? R and R Productions presents The Maja Review! Oh yay! Now time for Timothy. Alright now, I just recently bought these mud jugs and I figured I'd make a YouTube video about me opening the box, etc. I've already cut the tape, I'm just waiting to open it. So, here we go. Into the world of mud jugs. Now, let's see what we got here. Looks like a receipt. Yes, yes. Oh, now see, that's something Jeff does that no one else does. He actually comments back on your receipt. Yeah, see that right there? No one else does that. Alright, you can see I, I ordered, uh, well there's a lot of stuff on here I don't want you to see. But you can see I ordered, um, Blaze Orange, uh, Blaze, I'm going to call it Blaze and Orange Mud Jug. Alright, let's see here. Here's some Mud Jug hats I got. Here's the mud jugs. Here's the one I'm interested in. That's the one I ordered, the blazing orange. Right? Here's uh fish scales. That's the one my friend ordered. He ain't here right now. He's currently on a field trip for his college class. Looks like I got some uh mud jug uh stickers here. Yeah, that's neat. Uh got me a green and black mud jug. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm jealous. I know. I know you're jealous. Let's see. Let's look at my blazing orange. All right. All right. Look at that. Look at how beautifully crafted that is, and how simple but yet durable it is. I can feel the weighted base in it for when you tip it over and whatnot. And it comes back up right. I'll leave this one in the uh, bag for my friend. Alright, so now that I have my mud jug, it's time to put me a dip in. And today, and I know it's a tradition for YouTube to crack the can and everything for dip reviews, but I'm not going to because this can's already open. I ain't got money to blow on a new one. So, uh, here we go. And this is Copenhagen. Wintergreen long cut. Be careful, children. This can cause mouth con uh, mouth cancer and gum disease. And I know lots of people are going to give me crap about how uh, I pack mine, but you don't exactly have to thump it with your finger because I really don't see the point. I mean, how do you know it's packing good just because your finger thumped the can? Let me get a modest size dip here. Yeah, I've seen in some videos, Darcy says, don't pull your lip or you're not a man. Well, I guess I am one then, because I didn't pull mine. Alright, so now it is time for the mud jug review. Alright, so now it's time for questions. And I know it looks awful bright. But we had to turn a lamp on to get the light we needed. Anyway. All right. Us, okay, yeah, go ahead. Alright, Timothy. These are some questions that some viewers might ask. Maybe not, I don't know, but we're going to ask it for the hell of it. Question number one. What are you if you don't have a mud jug? Hmm. If you don't have a mud jug, what would you be? Oh, it's it. Not a man. Alright. Alright. Question number two. If you spit in a bottle and not in a mud jug, what are you? Well, let's see. Hmm. This is a hard... Oh, not a man. Alright. Question number three. What are some of the reasons for owning a mud jug? Hmm. Well, because... So, well, some of the reasons you would own a mud... Well, one main reason why you would own a mud jug is because you own a mud jug, you're a man. If you don't, you're not. Alright. 
Last question. Question number four. What is so special about a mud jug? Alright. Well, to do that, I have to give some demonstrations. You can be lounging on the couch, scratching your nuts, scratching your ass. It don't matter. You need a mud jug to make everything simple. I can sit here all day, and I know I have my trusty mud jug with me. See right there? I can put it on the couch. I ain't got to worry about it tipping over, because it always stands back up. I know that's a horrible demonstration, but give me credit, it's on a couch. Look at there, right there, first top. Now here's something a lot of people don't like to try. And Jeff, the owner of Mud Jug, said it's something he don't like to see. Over this couch. Uh-oh, I'm scared. This is like my first time doing this. Oh, no leaks, huh? Over myself, over me. No one wants that on them. That's why these are still resistant. I'm shaking it, I'm shaking it. Yeah, see? Yeah, there you go. That's what a mud jug is for. Say you're cooking dinner over there. All you got to do is have your trusty mud jug in the kitchen. Right there. Boom shakalaka. You can even use it outside! So there you go. And there you have it. Nothing can beat the good old mud jug. And I've only had mine for a couple hours. And I'm loving it. the world as we know it, trust me it's the end of the world as we know it, and I'm feeling fine bitches.